Hey everyone, Big Bird Big Daddy here, and today I am bringing you a very old match. I have no idea how long ago this was, um, but I'm guessing it's a significant amount of time against my good buddy Evan, also known as Sharpedophile. Uh, you guys know him already probably because I've had like tons of tons of battles with him. But anyway, this is like a UU-ish type of match, something like that. Um, except for the heat more that you see in front of you, but I figured I could live whatever hit I don't know what he just went for I didn't see it, but uh, I did live it whatever it did and I go for the stab heat wave and That doesn't kill the crowbat and I died a life warp But now I'm gonna bring in Zapdos because Zapdos totally threatens that crowbat out and he's gonna switch and I know he's gonna switch so I'm gonna go for a substitute now he brings in this hip on top I realized that it did not show Intimidate, so I know it's one of those Techni Top sets with Life Orb. Um, but actually, that Fake Out does not break my sub. I'm surprised. Um, I think I have some defensive EVs invested in this uh, sub agility Baton Pass Zapdos, which is awesome. I used it back in 4th gen, and it still kind of works in 5th gen, so. Um, I'm going to use uh, past the agility boost to Needle King because Needle King is a beast. And I think this is a timid nature Needle King because if it was modest, I would have killed this stupid him on top. Oh, And he's able to get a Sucker Punch off. And that Sucker Punch uh, probably matters. Um, and it mattered not killing that him on top. Uh, even though I know him on tops are naturally, uh, especially defensive, bulky. But he's going to go into Sharpedo now. I know he's going to protect. So I'm just going to switch out into my Zapdos. Um, and I'm kind of hoping he isn't uh, he isn't the Focus Sash one. Because that would be unfortunate. I just want to kill this thing as fast as possible. Because I know I can live at least two hits from the Sharpedo. Um, even Ice Beam, I think I can live one maybe. I don't know. But uh, that crunched it a lot. <laughs> I'm not a physically defensive Zapdos, but still. Um, considering it's not life loved or anything. Um, he does show he has a sash. He's going to be able to get one more hit off and I'm able to take it out with a Thunderbolt. But Zapdos is left really, really low now. Um, and uh, he's going to bring in his Rose Raid. Uh, I thought he would overpredict and maybe go for Leech Seed or Sleep Powder. I would rather have this Zapdos Leech Seeded or Sleep Powdered other than any rather than any of my other Pokemon but he just goes for the sludge bomb uh, I over predict here thinking he might want to switch out uh, not wanting to take the fire blast so I go for earth power and it still does a good amount but because uh, Roserade is naturally uh, especially defensive bulky and that's probably a, most of them carry like calm natures to boost their special defense uh, it's not gonna do that much and I'm gonna go for the fire blast now but then he switches to Embor and I miss so that's unfortunate so, um, I'm going to switch into Claydol. I don't know why I didn't just switch into my Slowbro. I guess I thought he would predict that and go Wild Charge, which is why I went into Claydol in the first place. But he just goes for Flare Blitz and kills me. So I know that thing is probably most likely Banded Embor, uh, because I had a physically defensive Claydol, you know. And uh, I'm going to go for the Psyshock. Because I know he had to switch out. He's just going to fodder off his Crobat. And now he's going to bring in a Zapdos. Um, I can't take a T-Bolt or Volt Switch or whatever. So I'm going to go into Needle King um, to sponge either of those hits. Because he resists them. But he actually goes for the Light Screen. And now he's going to go for a Heat Wave. If I had lived... Uh, if I had killed at him on top, not allowing it to get a Sucker Punch off, I would have been able to get some good damage off with Ice Beam. And you would have seen uh, that kind of matters later on. But I'm going to go for the Body Slam with my Snorlax now. And I'm not going to get the Paralysis. He's just going to get the heck out of there with Volt Switch. And I don't know what he's going to go for. Like what he's going to go into. Um, I'm figuring anything that he has gets hit hard by Body Slam anyway. So I'm just going to keep going for it. And that's going to kill that Roserade. Uh, I, can't, I don't remember what type of Snorlax this is. I think this is my... Uh, Rest, Sleep Talk, Body Slam, Whirlwind set. Um, he's going to over predict here. I predict him to over predict. I'm going to go for the Body Slam. Hoping I can get the Paralyzed so I can kill him next turn with Body Slam. But no, I don't. And that is very unfortunate. So, um, I don't know why I didn't just stay in and go for the Body Slam. I, I probably could have lived another one. I'm not really sure about that, but it would have been close. 
Um, so I actually just go for the rest. And doing that was stupid, stupid, stupid. Uh, because now he's just going to bring back in his Embor now. Um, and he's going to kill me with the hammer arm. Uh, I should have just went for the body slam. And right there, even though uh, Snorlax was asleep, I should have switched out into Slowbro. Because then I would at least be able to resist that hit, go for a Psy Shock or something, and hit that Zapdos if it wanted to come in or kill the Embor. Uh, but I made a big mistake there. Uh, that was pretty big. So I'm going to go for Psy Shock here, uh, get a useless crit, because I'm pretty sure that didn't matter. And that Embor is going to die. Now I have to hope here uh, that I can kill to hit KO the Zapdos. Hope he doesn't put up light screen. Um, so I'm going to go for the Psy Shock here. That's the strongest move I have. Um, and it looks like a 2 hit KO, so I have to hope here that I can live this Volt Switch. If I can live this Volt Switch, I can kill the Zapdos and win! Oh, but I don't live the Volt Switch. And that is a very, very good game, Evan. Um, that turned out to be a 1-0 in his favor. But so many things uh, happened where... Um, if I had made a play here or not made a certain move here, uh, it would have turned out a lot better for me, but I just didn't play right, and it cost me the match. But I hope you all enjoyed, um, and, you know, I'm sorry for not uploading a whole bunch lately. I've been busy with school. Um, I'm trying to get into, like, research labs and... Uh, just school, work, all that stuff, life, I guess. So I hope you guys uh, forgive me for that. Um, I'll try to upload more often as much as I can. I know I always say that, but uh, I try to do this whenever I have time. Um, that's really all I can say. So I hope you guys enjoyed the battle. Look forward to a battle next week. Uh, probably I try to upload a Zelda episode later on this week when I have time as well so um, hopefully I won't go too long in between days uh, without uploading something so thank you to all of you for sticking by me thank you to any new subscribers and thank you to my old subscribers and uh, yeah I hope you guys enjoyed so uh, I'll catch you guys next time see ya